Hello dear all, today we are going to continue practicing inverse variation. So let's see. Assume that y varies directly as x, so we can write y equals k times x. I will take question 1. If y equals negative 4, so instead of y we can put negative 4, when x equals 2, so this x equals 2, then negative 4 equals k times 2, solve for k, it will be k equals negative 2, so the equation it will be y equals negative 2 times x. Find y, so y equals negative 2 times when x is negative 6. So instead of x, we will substitute with negative 6. Then y, it will be equals to 12. Question 2. So y equals k times x. It's the same direct variation. When y equals 16, so instead of y, we put 16. When x equals to 4, so we substitute 4x with 4, so 16 equals k times 4, solve for k, it will be k equals 16 to 4, it is 4, so the equation it will be y equals 4 times x, find y, so y equals 4 times, when x it is 6, so the x is 6, so y it will be equals 4 times 6 is 24. If y equals when x equals, it's the same direct variation, so we can write y equals k times x, y is 28. When x is 168. So solve for k. It will be k equals. See, it will be simplified by 28. It will be k equals 1 over 6. So y equals k 1 over 6 times x. So find the y. y equals 1 over 6 times when x is 108. Then y equals to 18. Next, question 8, so y equals k times x, y is 24, substitute for y with 24, when x is 6, so x is 6, solve for k, it will be k equals to 4, then the equation it will be y equals 4 times x. Find the y when x is negative 4. Then y equals 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Assume that y varies inversely as x. So y equals k times 1 over x. y is negative 4 when x equals to 2. So substitute for x, it will be 1 over 2. Solve for k. It will be k equals negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So the equation it will be y equals k negative 8 times 1 over x. Find the y when x is negative 6. 
simplify by 2. So y equals 4 over 3. When x is negative 6. Let's try more. y equals k times 1 over x. So if y is 16, when x is 4, solve for k, it will be k equals 16 times 4, it is 64. So the equation it will be y equals 64 times 1 over x. Find y when x is 6. Simplify by 2. It will be y equals 32 over 3. If y equals, so we have inverse variation, y equals k times 1 over x. So y is 27. When k is 12, so times 1 over 12. So for k, it will be k equals 27 times 12 is 324. Then the equation it will be y equals the k, it's 324, times 1 over x. Find x when y is negative 12. So now y is negative 12 equals 324 times 1 over x. Over 324. It will be simplified by 12. It will be negative 1 over 27 equals 1 over x. Cross product or just use the equivalent fractions. It will be x equals negative 27. Next, question 14. So y equals k times 1 over x. If y is 6, when x is negative 4, so substitute for x, solve for k, it will be k equals 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. So the equation it will be y equals negative 24 times 1 over x. Find x when y is 12 over 5. So instead of y, we put 12 over 5 equals negative 24 times 1 over x. So we can simplify in this side and put 12 over 5 equals negative 24 over x. Cross product, x equals 5 times negative 24 over 12, simplify by 12, it will be x equals to negative 10. Y varies jointly as x and z. So this is a jointly variation and we will write y equals k times x times z. And y equals 33 when x is 9 and z is 12. So for k, it will be k equals 33 over 9 times 12. We can simplify by 3, so 11, and here 3, it will be k equals 11 over 36. Then the jointly variation, it will be y equals k, which is 11 over 36, times x, times x.
times z. Find y, when y equals 11 over 36, when x is 16, so substitute for x, and z is 22, substitute for z. We can simplify by 4. It will be here 9 and here 4. So y equals 11 times 4, 44, times 22, which is 968 over 9. F varies jointly as G and cube of H. So H cube. If F is 200 and G is 5, And h is 4, so it will be here 4 cubed. From here, we can solve for k. So k, it will be equals 200 over 5 times 64. We can simplify, let's see, we can simplify by 5, first of all, and here it will be 40. Simplify by 8. It will be 5 over 8. So k is 5 over 8. We can write that f equals k, which is 5 over 8 times g times h cube. Then find f, which is 5 over 8 times when g is 3, times, and h is 6, so 6 cubed. Then it will be f equals 5 times 3, 15, times 6 cubed, divided by 8, it will be equals 405. Thank you.